Do you want to do a picture in a picture on iMovie? Or maybe you want two videos side by side. I'm Brighton West and in this video I'll show you how. So in this video I'm going to show you how to have two videos playing on your screen at one time in iMovie. So you'll start out with one video down here on your timeline and you'll take the next video that you want to appear along with it and put it on top. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit to make things easier to see. Get rid of all that. So now what you can see is if I play through the timeline, I've got the video underneath playing and then it switches to the video that is on top and then switches back. So what you can do is take the video that is on top and it only allows you I, iMovie only allows you to have two videos playing. You can't do more than that. But take the video that is on top and select it so you've got the yellow box around it. And then head up here to the two little boxes, the video overlay settings, and you've got a couple of different options. You can do a cutaway, a green screen, blue screen, a split screen, or picture in a picture. Um, so probably the most common are going to be the, the cutaway, split screen, or a picture in a picture. So let's just show what a picture in a picture looks like. You can see it show up there and you can make it bigger and smaller and move it around the screen. Or you could split the screen. So you've got one on one side and one on the other and you can move this stuff around, move it to the left, to the right, uh, or slide it over over a period of time to, to come in. Um, and the cutaway is just the, the standard going from one screen to the other. So let's see what that looks like now. So we've got it here. So in this video, so I'm gonna show you the... Now, of course, you can't have two audios playing at the same time, so you would have to go through here and mute one of them. iMovie is a great, simple tool. If you're ready to step up to a more advanced tool, I recommend ScreenFlow. It's $100, but it has a lot more functions than iMovie without being complicated. It's a great tool for novice editors. I actually use it daily for parts of my videos. Click the link down below if you'd like to try out ScreenFlow.